something. Is it burning? What? What happened? Oh, is that one of Corliss's ships? Oh, okay. Is coming for you. The sea snake will have your boxes fucking head. No, 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 please! Ah! Is that in his face? Did he do that into his? Oh, that's his hand. Uh oh, oh, there's Damon. Oh, that dude that's now to the thing is dead. You're pinned down, and I know for a fact he's not looking to see where you're at. Oh. Yeah, I will. I'd rather be crushed and die instantly than get burned, so. <laughs> His whole top half just, just disappeared, just got eviscerated. Where are you? <laughs> He's like, I'm right Yes, oh, we did a, a huge time skip. What's and you have my on? nose, don't you? Two years old, I'm already. Our boy has a kingly presence. Three years? He may yet, brother, but this morning he insisted on eating porridge with his hands. <laughs> it's. It will grow. It's two. Otto, you. Take that stick out, because. <laughs> it's clearly up. It's clearly up there. <laughs> Oh, and she's pregnant again. I bring urgent news from the Stepstones. The crab feeder has dug in for siege on Bloodstone while his men sabotage our fleet under the cover of dark. Not today, Tyler. Lannister? It's been three years. It can wait another three days. You keep putting it off. Like, all... Okay, that, that is Tywin, Lan uh, Tywin Lannister. Dude, like, how... Viserys is kind of pissing me off. Just because how many times are you going to put it off? Like, you've been putting it off. You could have stopped it before it was ever a problem, but you didn't. And he's like, oh, it's it's been three years. It could have been zero years. C can someone tell me where in the seven hells Rhaenyra might be? Oh, she's Under in the air. The oh, okay. I assume she was flying. Is that who I think it is? Perhaps no, he's just a bard. Like to hear something else. She would not play it again. <laughs> he's like, my hand's cramping. Your grace. Did I say to stop? <laughs> Did I tell you to stop? You may go, Samwell. You are to stay oh, okay. by order of the princess. The queen commands you to leave the godswood at once. Oh, we're throwing ranks around. <laughs> I thought that was mushroom singing. I don't know why. I just, I was, I just hope we see mushroom at some point. He wants for us all to be together. Is it the king's command? Yes, but it then at once, your grace. But it needn't be. Yeah. The slow, the spiral decline. As we fall further, we start to... He goes faster and faster. Well, you will be with your own child sooner than later. And make me a proud grandsire. It's not so bad. Your near is like, nah, I'm good. I'm not sure why I must. Because you are my daughter. The princess. Mm. And you have duties. As I am ceaselessly reminded. I'm sorry? As I am ceaselessly reminded. <laughs> she said it again. You ever attended to her? No one's here for me. Yeah. All of this is for Aegon. I think all that's practical. Oh, there's Clubfoot. <laughs> That was a very evil. Well, obviously, he is he's he is a clubfoot. It's so cool seeing characters come to life. That must be Harwin, and because all three of them, yeah, all three of them are standing there. Hail, hail, Edward the Conqueror, babe, second of his name. Here's to his grace on his second name day. Just proving her point. No one's gonna get her. She didn't even get out of the carriage. It's been said that if one were to stand in the tower. On a perfect day, one could see clear across the sunset sea. Mm, I don't have a dragon pit, of course, but... Stop looking at her like that. Why would you need a dragon pit? To house dragons, of course. I'd do anything for my queen. Or... Uh, uh, uh. Lady wife. Stop looking at her like that. You're so, so creepy. <laughs> The awkward outfit. Did anyone see her? 
reject me? I don't pour out the finest wine in Lannisport. Jason Lannister is an excellent match. He's arrogant and self-serious. Well, I thought you might have that in common. Oh, wow. All right, Dad. Can we, can we do this in private? It's because I do not wish to get married. Even I do not exist above tradition and duty, Rhaenyra! Uh, excuse you... me, Your Grace. <laughs> the, the whole tent. <laughs> Everyone's like, uh... Princess, wait! She must be a joy to look after. I mean, you caught up to her now. What happened back then? My father trying to sell me off to Jason Lannister. You want me to kill him? Uh, he'll do it too. Castle Rock is a splendid seat. Rhaenyra may take her place there by my side without shame and feel herself well compensated for her loss in station. What loss of station? Uh, yep. You should have kept quiet. I had assumed. As he's your firstborn son, many of us had assumed. Many of us, you say. <sighs> Have your bannermen questioned say, let my me, choice? Let me get those names. Of course not. Go ahead and write them down for me. I, 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 I did not need... decide to name Rhaenyra my heir on a whim. All the lords of the kingdom would do well to remember that. Yeah. Go sit down. Just, just go sit down. All right, good boy. <laughs> Fine. Uh, that's like your third cup in just this one scene. I think you're good on, on the wine. She's always watching him. You're not only Rhaenyra's father, you're the king. She'll do as you command. It is not my wish to command her, Aldo. I want her to be happy. Yeah, as any father would. You know nothing about that, Otto. There is another choice beyond Casterly Rock. One perhaps you might be more comfortable with, one closer to home. Oh, Targaryens. <laughs> the boy just turned two. <laughs> the boy just turned two. <laughs> what happened to the to the to the wine guy? The cup there. dropped it. I think that's enough. Powerless over my own daughter of seven and ten. Okay, she's seven ten. King Jaehaerys ruled over half a century of peace while his children drove him to the edge of madness. His daughters in particular. Yeah. One of one of King Jaehaerys' daughters <laughs> she messed up so bad she got sent to live with the silent sisters. And then, and then she still ran off. All right. Get your sword. Alright, good job. What's out there? Oh, is it the uh, the white stag? Or the white thing that everyone was talking about? Because that'd be cool if like, it came to see Rhaenyra. Because they were saying it's like, uh, has something to do with royalty. I don't know, but this is more ominous. Dude. You can just go ahead and point that straight out, because something is about to jump out at you. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Get up, Renair. Fight back. Fight back. You almost took her eye out. Why'd you go? You could have gone sideways. I mean, she's fine, but... Jeez. That's one way to vent out your frustrations. Close your mouth. Oh, that's... That's uh. yeah, definitely not right. You may not be white, no grace. He's a big lad. This is how you guys hunt. Yeah! Thank you. Oh, it's still... Uh... Okay, it's gone. You guys are lame. It's not real. Oh, uh, she still has blood in her hair. Oh yeah, she didn't. 
There's no room for her to bathe or anything like that out there, so. Why is she up so oh, Kristen's not on the horse. I was say, why is she up so much higher than him? Oh, there, okay, that's cool. I thought that was gonna happen in the middle of the night. <laughs> yeah, that's a sign. It would have been so cool if she would have like came into town riding on on that one. <laughs> Everyone's like, well, they had fun. <laughs> His face, Jason's face just then. When you bore the king a son, you ended 15 years of uncertainty and doubt. Aegon, like his namesake, was born to rule the Seven Kingdoms. You guys named him Aegon. It's not like he was born with the name Aegon. Well, does this not please you? Do you not want your son to be king? What mother wouldn't. This poor girl. Honestly, when you became queen, I would have shut all that down. I do not seek to replace you, child. You've been much alone these last few years. Alone and angry. Mm. Her dad married her best friend. <laughs> what would you have me do? If it was for advantage, you would have wed Lena Valarian. Yeah, she's got you on that. She's... There's nothing you can say to that. I did waver at one time, but I swear to you now, on your mother's memory, you will not be supplanted. All right, I'm gonna hold you to it. Okay, <laughs> I feel like one of these are gonna hit. Okay, yeah, I was like, if they miss all their shots, they're just terrible. Everyone looks so defeated. Prince Damon, I bring word from His Grace Viserys Targaryen. First of his name, King of the Andals, the Rhoynar, and the First Men. All right, so what's your plan? Why are you, what? Why are you feeding him? He's, he's quite literally just the messenger. He didn't deserve that at all. Know that it is not my desire to see you fail in your cause. It is instead my hope that this aid will deliver the victory that has thus far evaded us. Us? Oh, is he gonna do Lanor's plan? Offering himself up to pull them out of the caves? Oh, there he is. The crab feeder. Now is he looking? He's looking for the dragon. I know that Damon is not surrendering, so this tactic is a little dishonorable. <sighs> Coming out under a peace banner, or a surrender banner. Well, now they don't have a reason to not fire. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Wait, they shot arrows before you said loose? That was, that was weird how they cut that. Or maybe they just knocked their arrows really fast. Is he going to make it all the way to him unscathed? But if so, props to Damon. He, the crab feeder knows that there's a dragon somewhere. Just keeps looking for it. He's taking out men and dodging arrows all at the same time. That's crazy. Oh, I shouldn't have said anything. Oh, he, two of them? Three of them? Oh, I shouldn't have said anything. I'm sorry, Damon. All right, Craxies. <laughs> Craxies? <laughs> We need you right about now, bud. There he is. Yeah. Man, he came up all stealthy. Nobody heard him. These guys are terrible. Why is he... Oh, that's sea smoke. All right, cool. Lanor and sea smoke. That's awesome. I was like, why is he gray? <laughs> yeah, we'll say take them out first. He's like, ah, I'm gonna go back inside. I'm gonna let you guys handle that. <laughs> Damon's like, not so fast, though. <laughs> Where's your brother at, Corliss? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I just asked about him. I like I like seeing Sea Smoke. That's cool. That's, that's why I wanted to see from House of the Dragons. 
like all the other dragons. Yeah, I wouldn't even be bothering with the people on the actual battlefield. I would take out all the archers and stuff first. Oh, we didn't even get to... Is that him? That ha Yeah, who else would that be? We didn't even get to see him fight the crab feeder. <laughs> he just came out with his torso. Man, on the brink of defeat. And they rallied. Well, I'm not even going to say they rallied together. Damon rallied. He's like, no. It's like, I'm not getting hurt from my, from my brother. It's like, I'm just do this myself. Covered in his blood. That's gross. <laughs> Alright, so that's it for this episode of House of the Dragon. Uh cool, we got to see the uh conclusion of the fighting on the stepstones. Uh really awesome to see. Damon didn't say a word the entire he spoke in the beginning of the episode, but he didn't say a word this uh this entire last part was which I thought was really cool. Um it was awesome to see Lanor and Sea Smoke, that was cool. And just, yeah, so the conflict in the Stepsons has now been resolved, and Rhaenyra is now free to marry whoever she wants to. But I do think that it was really good. It was a really good way for her to tell her father. She's like, yeah, like, you have your son. You have everything you wanted. There's nothing stopping you from replacing me as your heir. And I do like that uh, Viserys reassured her. That he's like, I'm not replacing you. I will not supplant you. He's like, you're my heir. And uh, him having to basically go to bat for Rhaenyra all episode... It, so yeah he really like he really defended her claim this in this entire episode and just her not being around him not really seeing him defend her like that which is really kind of what drove her to well that along with you know him marrying allison she's still upset about that and having Aegon and everything but she wasn't really around when her father was defending her her claim to the throne so I feel like if she would have been around a little bit more you know she wouldn't have been as upset with him as she was or that she got to be uh, so yeah, so Aegon was two, and you know, it takes nine months to carry the child, so yeah, at least three, three and a half something years went by, um, since the last episode, uh, which we didn't even see them get married, Allison and Viserys, but she's also already pregnant with another child, so, uh, really interesting, really cool to see. I wonder how many, yeah, we're gonna have to have at least at least one more time skip maybe two at least one more maybe two time skips uh just based off my knowledge of the book so um i was kind of wondering how they were going to handle that in the show but they're just like ah, we're just gonna go to the next part so uh yeah the fighting of the stepsons is done uh we did not need viserys or his men uh so good job on damon for that in corliss and yeah other than that we're just gonna go into the next episode so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time